You know, the more I look around, the less panicked I actually become. Is this zoo absolutely kind of falling apart at the seams, other than the fact that, for some reason, it's making, like, hand over fist on money? We're actually very rich, uh, but that just goes to show that money isn't everything. Because, yeah, our original zoo, Zoodestia Zoo, little bit of chaos. Little bit of chaos, as we saw last time. And at first, if you can't tell from the <clears throat> gap in time between uh, when we checked in on the zoo a bit ago, sorry about that, and now, you could, you could say that trying to fix all of this is overwhelming. I mean, look at the paths, or don't look at the paths, it depends on how much pain you want to inflict upon yourself this early in the morning. And, you know, then there, there's, like, completely exposed shops that are just stuck to the side of empty fields where you can just admire the lovely, lovely look of, uh, you know, the power generators, because that's what everybody wants to see when they wish to go somewhere that inspires them about the natural world, right? Yeah. So I was a little intimidated, and it's taken me a bit to kind of get my feet back under myself. But now, now, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that there is still opportunity. I am feeling that this pile of extremely predictably packed rocks that definitely need some more organic... Mm, motion to them. That's almost as bad as staring at a cookie cutter like suburban neighborhood. Oh, I just can't handle it. At least we put trees on that and they just cut down all the, the trees in most suburban neighborhoods nowadays. Pa, pa, I say. Uh, but actually, speaking of trees and speaking of cutting them down, this is a little awkward, but actually we are going to be moving. <laughs> we are going to be moving this uh, quote unquote founding tree, one of the very first trees we ever put down, and we're going to be building a custom tree so that that will be one of the first things you see when you walk into Zudesia Zoo. Apparently you're looking at some mangrove roots all the way. How did I get what? Is something going on with our anteaters? Because suddenly, okay, habitat has damaged barriers. Uh oh, wait, what's inside? The pea fountain? Are the oh my gosh, there's so many babies! Um, okay, oh geez, and Fargo the giant burrowing cockroach just died. Uh, well, yeah, so welcome back! Okay, okay. <laughs> I take it back, maybe this is going to be a bit of chaos, but it feels so much better to be here amid all of the pea fowl chicks running afoul. You <laughs> oh no, oh no, I had to say it! Uh, running afoul and at least showing up to try to make some new memories and to try to make life better for all of the animals in our zoo, as well as learn about all of the species that are out there sharing our world with us and just building memories together with you. So things are going to be a little busy, but that doesn't mean that we can't jump in and just get started. So uh, it seems like we could try to pick an area and we could have plenty to keep us busy in every direction. But perhaps we'll focus primarily on the like most emergent issue today. Uh, okay. The fact that this habitat has damaged barriers, and also doesn't have a name, and also doesn't look as cute as I want it to. There's a lot of things that we could actually be fixing here. So let's come over and, you know what? We'll go ahead and we'll start by naming these habitats after some of you guys, including Honeyflower. I, stay with me here, guys. I swear this makes sense. But we're going to have Honeyflowers, um, Honeyflowers, uh, Fowl Field. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so Honeyflower is one of our amazing patrons who helped to make these adventures possible. And actually, that's one of the big reasons I wanted to come back to this zoo. This chaotic, chaotic, chaotic experience that perhaps one day I'll be able to make available to you guys to be able to walk through if you wish to torment yourselves so. <laughs> this is, um, this is actually... A place that has a few memories sprinkled through it of some of you and of some of the houses. I think we named some of the houses like Tiger's Village House, Fancy Fox's Village House, Doffy's Village House, Melissa's Guard Tower. Oh, that's a really cool guard tower. I really like that, actually. <laughs> it's got some of the memories of, of our adventures together in the past here. And sometimes I feel like, oh, but look at it. It just, it wasn't, it wasn't a perfect memory. Like now I can look back and I can be like, oh my, well, there was a lot to learn. But I think by showing up and trying to fix this area and making new memories in places where we had old memories, 
it's kind of respecting the fun that we had. And I think it'll be, it'll be really nice. It'll be really nice and special and a huge metaphor, if you haven't picked up on it by now, for going ahead and trying to dive back into many aspects of my own life that have gotten out of control over the last year and make something beautiful in old places with new memories, no matter what it currently looks like or whatever goals or projects that I thought I would have completed that I didn't. We won't dwell on that. Instead, we shall dwell on plants! All right, so also the lemurs were stressed, but I think they're doing better now. So there's not going to be... Ooh, and Amy just had another baby! Congratulations, Amy! At 53 years old, you are extremely, um, extremely well-versed in laying eggs. Oh, and it was actually flamingo, like pink flamingo day yesterday too. Are you gonna are you gonna go ahead and is your egg gonna hatch? We really need to get some cool signs in front of where we keep our flamingos that can show you guys what it actually looks like when flamingos build their nest. In fact, do I have a nest? <gasps> do I I'm pretty sure that we have nest. That oh yes, look at this! We actually have flamingo nest! <laughs> Okay, I knew we had some cool things. Holy cow, that's a lot of nest. But this is what it looks like when flamingos nest, actually. They have these these giant piles that they push together and they sit on top of this huge mound. The mound is kind of like a compost heap in case you guys are familiar with like how hot a compost heap can get. And there's Amy's baby! Welcome, Amy! Oh, look, and the pandas are already walking around. Well, hang on there, panda. I need to see if this is about the height we want. We might as well put the the eggs over here because this is kind of like the environment where flamingos would put their eggs, sort of near the water uh, and also a little bit because the mud helps to move around, but a, a little bit out of the water and they do nest near one another. Oh, that's actually really awesome. I can't believe we were able to put down flamingo eggs that fast! Oh my gosh! Let's go ahead and we're gonna name this new little girl. And, oh, I don't have the random comment generator pulled up just at the second, but you guys know that you can actually end up becoming some of these animals. All you need to do is leave a comment down below and boop! You will, too, will become a fl- Oh! I've never seen that before! That little hop jump of the baby! That's so cute! Alright, Egabella, welcome, welcome. I, I want to name her that because, you know, she showed up when we put down these flamingo eggs. Also, our bongo Barika died of old age! Oh, rest in peace, Barika, rest in peace. I almost said pieces, but this isn't Wobble Dog, so I don't need to worry about that. Oh my gosh, I'm already feeling so much better. <sighs> it's not going to be perfect, but we're going to step in here and we're going to try to... I mean, nothing is ever perfect now that I think of it. And... Yeah, if you guys can't figure this out, I'm, I'm deep inside of my own mind for metaphors right now. And I don't need to be sad when I look at places that I had happy memories that I didn't get to complete or, or tidy up. We can just show up together and, and just be like, wow, life can be complicated and carry on making something, making something nicer with, you know what, with even better experiences. Cause now we're a little more grown up. We've got more experience and we know how to settle in and uh, like change this habitat up for instance. So it's a lot nicer. All right, first things, even though this is a little odd, let's remove that pavilion. Oh my. Well, when we removed that pavilion, we revealed the fact that there's a lot of peafowl. There's kind of a plenty of peafowl. Enough plenty of peafowl that I think that we can definitely add some contraceptives, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, we only have grade one food quality? Do we not have a researcher researching? What? Ha but. How have we missed out on researching Indian peafowl? That is just not going to do. All right, Miss Rose being one of our amazing patrons of the past. Let's go ahead and pull her over. See, we get to like visit with like, all of the staff or like old patrons that we've we've had. Like, oh, there's Fox Fox and Cookie and Lynn and Medi. Oh, and some of you guys as well. And then the party peafowl photographer, Amy, over at Party Peafowl Plaza. Is this party peafowl, peafowl plaza? Maybe? Do I have zones? I mean, I know I do, but they're gonna be a little bit, everything is chaotic. You know what? This is a no judgment zone. Instead, we're just gonna focus on being able to have fun. New memories. All right. Well, the peafowl are clearly, um, 
clearly abundant and we need to see how we can help them out and take good care of them. So let's see. Hmm. Yeah, they're from India. I want to know, we don't actually have a lot of research for them unlocked right now, but we know they like mirrors. We know they love the forge box in Richmond and currently we're feeding them grains and seeds, but we can probably feed them something better as soon as we get a researcher really researching. And then they have a fun fact too. There's a direct correlation between how many eye spots a peacock has on his tail fan and how successful he is finding mates. Okay, that's adorable. That's like ridiculously adorable. <laughs> I, I actually didn't know that. Uh, and neither will anybody here because we actually don't have, we don't have any, any info. We don't even have any money spots they could donate. Many guests think our, our, our uh, like whole place is underpriced. Okay, if you guys say so. I'll believe you and raise it just a bit. Uh, all right, well, <laughs> like I said, we'll pick a spot. So let's make the, let's prettify the peafowl, <gasps> of course. So we're gonna try to make the peafowl area a lot nicer. We have a staff room and a keeper hut here that were apparently tossed down in a panic. Let's get ourselves a mechanic who can maybe stay in this area. And we're gonna go ahead and hire Thug, oh my gosh. <laughs> Thug! Oh, okay, so Thug is one of our clever chipmunk uh, p patrons, and he was the next one on the Patreon random name list. That's so funny. Um, Peafell Beauty. Uh, Peafell Beautifier. Thug. Oh my gosh. Thug, thank you so much. Your name is awesome. And we're gonna have Thug come on in and be part of Peafell Party Plaza. In instead of Oof, I just had another epiphany. A, a peep of me? <laughs> a, a, a peep well me, I suppose. But I just had another a peep well me. Um, it isn't about making things perfect, is it? It's just about having fun and following our hearts. So let's do that. Well, my heart says that we need to go ahead and we need to really change up, like, basically everything about this. This all looks really silly. I kind of want people to be able to just kind of be right with the PFL. So I think what we're gonna do is I may even try to remove a lot of a lot of this habitat barrier. I wonder, will the PFL try to jump over this? Uh-oh, now the pygmy hippos are fighting. Okay, we'll have to go ahead and deal with that in just a second. And I don't know if I can actually change. Oh no, coin passed away. Rest in pieces, uh, coin. Uh, but I don't know if I can actually change the barricade while he is working on it. So we'll wait for Thug to finish. And let's see what else we can do for our people. So they seem to be doing okay, except they need hard shelter. They would like more grass. I can get on that, no problem. All right, let's see. They want less tall grass too. Also a good thing, I have no problem with that because the tall grass you know, it, it, it could be other plants. It could be other plants, which would be really nice. Uh, and it looks like we have plenty of space for lots of peafowl to go ahead and roam around. Oh my gosh, look at this little posse of peafowl. Look at them! They're so cute! Why are you guys so cute? Okay. And we need to prettify their zone. So let's see what we can get. Yeah, it isn't about getting things perfect in life. It's just about being able to do what you think is right and then try to enjoy yourself sincerely for what means... Okay, like, Bongo, please, no, no, nope, gotcha. For what means something to you. All right, where are the Bongo? Wow, we, look, we have so much to take care of, trying very hard to focus, uh, at least prevented the Bongo from interbreeding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I'm trying to pull up the Indian people right now. All right, so come on, come on, come on. Okay, and Indian peafowl, there we go. So we know that these guys do love their forging boxes. I think, are you using your forging box? Is it, can you, can you access it? Is that something that you can do, my dear? Oh, we need to rename all these peafowl too. This is, this is more than mild chaos. And they have water, is the water clean? The water is inside of a clean zone. So I wonder if we could put like a tiny miniature waterfall over here. That, that maybe the peafowl could kind of play near. And also, can I change this yet to... Interesting, what about this one? So I can change this to a hedge fence. And then can I lower it? I think so? 
Because that's kind of nice, because then you can just see straight in, and I don't think the peafowl will get upset about that. Um, okay, and then we should probably prettify this zone too, just to make sure that like there isn't a bunch of litter on the ground. And I kind of want to change over the type of pathing that we have to this one, because it's just nicer looking. Oh my goodness. All right, yeah, it's not about getting it all perfect on the first go, but we will try to change a few things up. Oh my gosh. Uh, and then let's get ourselves... Okay, multiple animals are stressed. Join the club, my friend. Uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to have Amy come join us. So Peafowl Feather Counter Amy, or we'll, we'll, we'll have you be Feather Counter Amy. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, Feather Counter Amy. There we go. And we're going to have her also be around the Peafowl Party Plaza, tidying this area up. And if we want to keep this area tidied up, we're going to need to go ahead and have some nice benches. We need to make sure that like the guests have somewhere to sit, for instance, because <laughs> at the moment they kind of don't. Um, and then they also don't have anywhere to like throw the trash away. So how are they supposed to, to keep everything nice and tidy if we don't even have that, right? Okay. All right, we'll put down just a few emergency trash cans here and there. We'll make it look nicer as time goes on. Let's see. And then we've got, oh, the new world bins are actually very nice. I definitely think we need to change the barrier on the peafowl area if we want it to be nicer. And then what do we want as a theme? I think overall, I want to start sticking a little stronger to certain themes and as much as I love the South American bench, because it has leaves! You know what? I love it, because it has leaves on it. So you, so forget it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put down a few of these benches. Just to get a little bit started over here. We'll check on the animal welfare of whoever is currently panicking in just a second. Right now, the panicking is me. I'm the panicking. And then, you know what? Okay, we're going to... We're gonna have to pause just <clears throat> i mean it seems that time actually enters some sort of odd lull as we go ahead and as we create there we go and as we we see that there is this odd new development happening actually we should put down what i'm thinking about first but an odd new development happening over in the edge of the peafowl plaza all right here we go you want to know another secret that I uh, that I like, my friends? The more that you practice just showing up and being able to change things, the easier it becomes. And then you realize things weren't so hard after all. Even if even if there's a lot to do, even if my vision that's kind of what it is, isn't it? My vision of what I wish this area and again if you're understanding that i'm using this as my therapy session this morning <clears throat> and let's see let's see where can i move this here we go this is a good spot madame i need this spot let's move you over can't move you over here okay so we're gonna you know what we're gonna build around this little one he is now going to be one of our little peafowl kings so let's actually name him reuben after another one of our wonderful patrons. And this is going to be um, Prince Reuben. Uh, Peafowl Prince Reuben, how about that? Prince Reuben, there we go. And why? Because we're gonna build around this little guy. He's not a problem, it's not a mistake that he's in the way. He is inspiration, inspiration incarnate. So Peafowl can fly a little bit, and what I'm trying to do is sort of make a nice area where our guests will be able to kind of look at the peafowl without the peafowl trying to escape. And I think I want to light this up. Like, by light it up, I mean the mountain cast a huge shadow, which <laughs> it's one of those things where when you're going ahead and you're adding in the mountains, it seems like, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 that'll be, that'll be so lovely. It'll be so easy. And then when you actually have to deal with the mountain how are you obstructed aha so let's actually try let's level you out maybe right over here because i want to have a little little spot of water here what what okay interesting interesting what if we go really down okay ruben we might have to make things a little bit steeper than i was expecting but that's all right 
like I said, every little bit, oh my gosh, that's all the water it can put in. That's so interesting. I wonder what the heck's going on. Something over here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Boy, we really, really were in a rush and I can tell I was frantic when we ended up creating this all that time ago because what is that? We have to remove like the entire chunk of path. This is good. Oh, yes, this is good. Let us see. Prince Ruben is helping us see that actually we wanted to go ahead and maybe make an extension of the waterway over here. There we go. All right, let's add this in. And so we'll do like an extension of this waterway like so. That I think will actually be really fun to maybe have like a little bridge go over and show either the peafowl. So you could either like walk across like this lake or like this sudden little, little peninsula area. I guess what do you call it? I guess it would be like, is it a peninsula when it's water? Basically this small random little lake here, we will make it so that guests can go ahead and like walk across a bridge to either go look at the peafowl or I think we might put a little uh a little exhibit over here like one of the ones that has frogs in it perhaps or other things that you might expect to find somewhat around a peafowl oh we can actually okay prince ruben <laughs> thank you for your inspiration it seems that i can actually like send you down into the depths as well and then i hope prince ruben can swim i'm sure this is going to be fine uh and let's put in the null barrier and there we go and we're going to add in, don't worry, don't worry, add in plenty and plenty of everyone's favorites. Uh, let's see, let's come over here. And then we can bring this down and then we can bring, come on, that down. And we will add in everybody's favorites rocks in just a moment. All right, and then maybe this. Where's my music? I like, I like jamming out. How can I put down? the zen rocks without a little a little bit of background beats all right now let's add in some big old happy rocks in fact um could you not i see what you're doing there samara who doesn't have a name yet oh my gosh so samara and uh suhana who both need new names immediately booked it immediately so who's gonna be faster me or the peafowl haha -ha! okay 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 Let's see, that's African foliage. Well, African foliage is wrong location for what I'm going for. A natural aquatic scene. Okay, nope, 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 nope. Anvi, go over there. Okay, okay. Uh, I think we're gonna grab any old rock now. All right, no rock blueprints. Just give me, give me moss. Give me mossy rocks. There. All right, come back here, run there. Those are so cute. I love how they just immediately are like, nope, we're gonna we're gonna just like leave. And I think we managed to thwart those efforts for a couple of the the little peafowl just a second to go, which is good. All right, and then maybe a couple more. Yeah, just a couple more of these cool mossy rocks. We can cover them in a bunch of plants, or let's see. Hmm. I think I want to do kind of mixed in with these guys, the tropical rocks as well. There we go. Whoa. And also we're going to be working on the peafowl quantity, the quantity of peafowl, because I think that that's what's slowing us down. Also, oh, I have the wrong moss rock. I was wondering what the heck was going on. I wanted the dynamic moss rocks. That's what I was looking for and confused by. Here we go. See, isn't that nicer? I actually do love the heavy moss rocks too though, so. Oh my gosh. See, this is why I often joke with my husband Chips that anytime we come in and we start working on our Zudasia Zoo in our planet zoo realm, uh, it we're basically playing like Zen Garden 5000 because it's about putting down rocks in just the right place. <laughs> So that everything looks pretty and organic. But there is something really soothing about it, isn't there? 
Wow, that's not so bad for having like just been able to show up and and start like making a nicer uh, multiple animals low wildflower. Ah, cockroaches in the kitchen are having an issue. <laughs> I forgot we named these guys cockroaches in the kitchen. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we need to go ahead and we need to we need. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna figure out how to get them a little bit happier. But boy, that's going to be a pivot from pretty, pretty peafowl to suddenly having to be like, okay, uh, now I actually need to go ahead and I need to put down some cockroaches in the kitchen. Well, these things happen. These things happen. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. It is not moving as fast as I thought it would, but that's okay. It's not about being perfect. And I actually think being playful takes practice. Peafowl practice, perhaps. And we're gonna get there. So, all right, yeah, we're gonna get there. We're gonna we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna be putting things down, and we're gonna be showing that you can show up and you can make your dreams come true. It just might take a little bit of practice. So, I'll see you guys. Well, hang on, we got it. We gotta. Are all of these babies yours? Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> all these babies are his. <laughs> and leave your name suggestions, friends, because I have. A lot of peafowl babies that uh, that are gonna need some help. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.